Verse 9, And Boaz said to the elders and all the people, You are witnesses this day. Again, as was noted in verse 4 last week, the ten witnesses that Boaz called together are representatives for all of the people. Regardless of how many people were there actually present, whether it was 10 or 50 or the whole town, these ten testify for all. To them he acknowledges that he is both qualified to redeem and he is willing to redeem. Now I want you to keep trying to think, who do these ten picture? Because they picture somebody in the Bible. And if they represent all of the people, then what does that mean? Okay, verse 9 continues, that I have bought all. The word for I have bought is the word kaniti, which is from the word kana. It means to buy or to acquire. The, this form of this word, kaniti, is used five times in the Bible. Two of them are in this account today, and two of the others actually tie directly in with what this account pictures. The first is when Eve had her first child, Cain. She said these words, Kaniti esh et Yehovah, I have acquired a man from the Lord. Because of this, she named her son Cain, which is a play on the word Kana, which means to acquire. Another time that this word is used is when Joseph said to the people of Egypt, Indeed, I have bought Kaniti, you and your land this day for Pharaoh. Look, here is seed for you, and you shall sow the land. It's from Genesis chapter 47. If you go back and you watch both of those sermons, you may be able to figure out what this portion of the book of Ruth is picturing in advance of our last sermon. Verse 9 continues. That was Elimelech's and all that was Kilion's and Malone's from the hand of Naomi. Everything that belonged to Elimelech and also his sons, Kilion and Malone, has been purchased. The order of the names of the sons, though, are reversed from chapter 1. There it listed them as Malone and Kilion. But now Kilion is mentioned first. Boaz, knowing the family, has named Kilion first, showing that he was the firstborn. And that's important if you know who Malone and Kilion picture. Regardless of the birth order, though, because of the death of all three sons, the entire scope of the inheritance that belonged to Naomi has been transferred. It is from her that this purchase is made. Verse 10. Moreover, Ruth the Moabitess, the widow of Malone, I have acquired as my wife. The word moreover must have been almost impossible for Boaz to utter. His heart was probably beating so hard that it was difficult to speak. The first time that his eyes glanced on her in the field, it was apparent that he was attracted to her. Now he has the joy and he has the pleasure of announcing that she would be his wife. Interestingly, though, he calls her Ruth, but he again calls her the Moabitess. The Bible is asking us to not forget that this woman is a Gentile. This isn't a mistake, and it is not an unnecessary addition, but it's a reminder. After this, he notes that she is the widow of Malone. Verse 10 continues. To perpetuate.